All right, you guys, we don't have anything fun and fancy planned so far today, except I've got him for a half hour before a conference call. So we're going to go clean the garage. That sounds exciting, it doesn't it? It's tidying up. The problem is that there's sand on the car on the floor in the garage, on the ground, and it from like all the snow days and it, they put sand down on the streets. So now that's filtered into my car, into my house, into the carpet, and every day we have to sweep and vacuum and sweep and vacuum, and it's driving me nuts. So we're gonna go sweep out the garage, tidy that up a bit, and then we've already cleaned up in here. So we've cleaned up in here, we swept the floor in here so that hopefully we don't bring any more sand in. We've got some recycle to go out, and we're gonna work our way outside. Right, Chase? Yeah, we'll do a full-blown uh, garage cleanup when it's sunnier. More, yeah. It's, warmer. I, it's I thought it would be warmer today, but it's not. No. So let's go. This weekend or something. So I guess I didn't look very far for the oatmeal. <laughs> it was stacked here in the laundry room. Apparently I didn't do laundry yesterday. All right, so let me show you the garage here really quick. Um, well, I'm going to throw these away. We don't have adult diapers. We don't need them. Yeah, it's fine. We got those from a donation. But anyway. So, I mean, really, you're not going to be able to see much of a difference. Um, it's mainly the floor. So we'll get the car pulled out and we'll show you. All right, so this is the mess that we're talking about. You can see all this sand. It's just gross. And it just, you just keep bringing it inside. So, like, it's all here on the mat. And then that little rug isn't able to stand up anymore because it's just... It's probably filled with sand. So nothing glamorous in our video today. We're just gonna clean. Oh yeah, we're glamour. We're total glamour. We don't let other people do our dirty work. We do it for ourselves. <laughs> okay, let's clean. So let me sing for you Like the birds in the mountains do Like a child who cries for you Cries for you So let me sing for you About the streets and the avenues There's nothing I'd rather do Rather do perfect and we don't have a good supply of food right now but it's letting us know what we have We've got crackers and breakfast drinks back there and our little food supply of oatmeal and a few cereals I say a few there's five boxes of toasted oats there's one behind those four and then there's a honey bunches of oats that is like not even enough for a week well maybe two weeks and then we got our canned goods down there and my canned goods down there if you know what I mean all right so there is the clean garage floor. Nothing fancy. Got some bulbs I should plant. I keep forgetting to do that. Maybe when it gets nicer weather. Anyway, um, nothing fancy, but now the kids can come in and get their bikes out. Not worried about that sawdust in there. We'll get that when we really spring clean. Got a pile of donated stuff that I need to put in the car. Maybe I'll do that today when we go get gas. Anyway, nothing fancy. Just wanted to get the garage all cleaned out and it looks a whole lot better than it did when we started. Meanwhile, Jason spilled um, yard waste stuff all over himself, so he kind of went inside crabby. So, I don't know what I'm gonna get when I go in here. <laughs> He's kind of upset that he spilled on himself, but um, he also is gonna do a conference call, so we won't see him for another hour or so, and then I think he's going to lunch with a friend. So we might not actually get to see him. Let me see what he's doing. Oh, he's not on the call yet. He's getting on the call. All right, say goodbye to everyone for a second. Bye, thanks for watching. We'll be back. All right, so all I wanted to do was come in here, move a load of laundry, and go get in the shower while he's on his conference call. But it, look at this. So this is my daughter's laundry. Don't mind the underwear. They normally bring it down on Fridays, but for whatever reason, they brought it down on Wednesday night. I think they had something they wanted washed today. But we've got giant red sweatshirt other sweatshirt 
regular clothes, regular clothes, it's fine. But then we've got more giant sweatshirts and then massive white towels, dark sweatpants, more white towels, more giant sweatshirts. This literally, you guys, was all in one load. I could have done one load of just giant sweatshirts, one load of just towels, if I had gathered up maybe one or two more towels from around the house, and then a whole load of just their regular clothes. Like, I know I don't look that great right now. I do want to go take a shower. But this is actually teaching me that if they want their laundry done on a non-Friday, and maybe they're just ready in general. But I think I'm about to teach my daughters, my older two, they are almost 14 and 11. I think it's time to teach them how to do laundry. What do you guys think? <laughs> I wish we had our comments turned on so you could tell me. I'm going to try and figure out how to do the community tab so we can kind of create an ongoing section where we can talk to each other and go back and forth. Because YouTube has officially turned off comments, especially on family and kid channels. They don't have a, an end date to that. So just hang on and hopefully we'll find a way for us to talk. But until then, I think it's time for me to teach them how to do laundry. They already know how to do my hanger system. They know what color there is. Go in range of Ashley's five, almost six. Then Chelsea's hangers are this color right here, the blues. Abby has all these salmon colored ones. Kaylee has these turquoise ones, then these ones are mine, and the green ones here are Jason's. So they already know that system, but they clearly don't know how to organize a load of laundry. So I think that's my next goal as a parent. I like teaching my kids things, and especially when they don't want to learn it. It's like my mission in life. They don't like to learn how to vacuum when they're five, but I teach them how to vacuum when they're five. I don't have a maid. A lot of my neighbors do. Somebody even asked me, um, I was telling him the list of chores that I had done on a Saturday, and they weren't even actually my chores. They were actually my kids' chores. And he's like, oh, you have like a whole system of what you, you know, a whole list of chores that you do. And I'm like, no, that's not my list. That's my kids' list. And he's like, what are you talking about? And I was like, those chores are all my kids' chores. <laughs> anyway, it kind of baffles some of my neighbors that I actually do as many chores as I do. Why pay someone else to do it? It's lazy. I don't know. It's my mess. I clean it up. And it's their mess. They clean it up. And these are their clothes. And I think they should learn how to do them. I don't want them moving out and going to college in four years. That's crazy. If they don't know how to cook and do laundry. So it's time to start learning, folks. Tossing swimsuit up there, and I need to actually take care of it. So I've got all these swimsuits right here. We're gonna organize these for a purpose. All right, you guys, you got my full shiny glow. I'm gonna go get in the shower. <laughs> get cleaned up a bit, work on the computer, and we'll see what else we do today. All right, so I'm here at the theater. I'm meeting up with a friend. We're gonna watch Alita, the sci-fi movie that I don't know, I'm kind of excited to see, but I know my family doesn't want to see. I'm here at the Cinnabar here in Issaquah. Gonna get some food, see what the movie's like.
Wow, did we get a dog? No. Max, come here. Come here, it's your debut. Hi. Kaylee just goes around the neighborhood and finds all the dogs she can get her hands on, huh, Kaylee? The dog loves her. This is her friend Matthew's dog. Are you just taking him for a walk? No, we're going to the park. So Matthew's on a scooter. Oh, okay. Yeah, we won't have a dog, but she gets a hold of one, she, anyone she can. This is the one that was pulling around sledding when we had the snow, didn't Right? What? Yeah. All right. You gonna go outside and play? Mm -hmm. Well, you're too cool for play. You just take dogs and go around the neighborhood. Bye. Bye, Bye Max. Do we like Mr. Max? Yes, but yeah. they can't be allowed to. How was school for you? Good. Yeah? Why don't you get up and go and work on the computer, but I'm too tired. No, don't make me get up, Ashley. You're supposed to come snuggle with me and tell me it's okay to stay on the couch. No. Yes, it is. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. All right, so I am here in my office. I am working on my computer, just uh, editing right here. And my husband wants me to show what he's doing because he's being very... I would say you had to show me, but... No, he's very being very domestic. I mean, a new century man. Yeah. Here. So what are you doing, babe? I am stitching up. Ashley had a, a hole in her pants like four inches long. Reddit or crotch, huh? Yeah, <laughs> so I just sewed it up. Imagine that. I'm no. an amazing man. What are they, like the uh, Renaissance man? <laughs> and I'm wearing the exact same pants. Yeah. Yep. When I buy things, sometimes I buy them in doubles, don't I? Yeah, and these are actually from Kelly. Yep. I wish we had comments because I'd love to know your husbands and stuff, whether they sew yeah. or have the ability. Well, but Ashley, I'm, I'm... If, if Daddy's sewing, should Daddy fix your unicorn? Should we do a unicorn repair? Yes. Where's the unicorn having a problem? Where's the problem? And the foot. Ooh, what this... is the foot? Let me see the damage. This is, yeah, find the damage. Yeah, we have to, it's this one. Is Where? It? Where? This one, and it's going to fall out with beads. Beads are missing thought. in this one. Oh, oh, it's right there. Oh, it's right there. Oh, oh there goes some more beads. All right, so Mr. Domestic's going to go Mr. ahead and fist their unicorn, too. I prefer <laughs> Renaissance rather than domestic. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, there's nothing wrong with domestic. Okay, you got to go get Chelsea, though. Oh. So yeah. you had to put this on hold. Chelsea's at running club, so wow. you got to go get her. Cool, I'm just like running. dad mom. I know. Picking her up from running club. And you got to go to a movie Doing today. Doing sewing. If there's I any grocery know. shopping, like... Stop. I'm going <laughs> to cut him off. He's being <laughs> ridiculous right now. Okay, right, go get Chelsea, this. and then we have to go to Abby's concert. Ooh, the concert's going to be fun. What yeah, you'll concert? come to the concert, right, Ash? What concert? She has Abby's a choir singing. concert. Uh, Remember when we went to it before? It's pretty amazing. Yeah. All right. I will, fi I will uh, stitch this. Later on tonight. Later. Renaissance really man. But I need a kiss. Ah. Uh oh, thanks. Okay, let's see. Let's see how this looks. Huh? Huh? Does that look pretty good? Crash repaired. Can you thing. even tell which one I did? No. Yeah. What? Which it's one? Okay, it looks good. I'm, it which looks one good. did I do? I, which one did I do? Point to this it. This one right here. It's right here. Okay, it's subtle. It's subtle. It's okay. I still appreciate it. That's Thank you. That's freaking awesome is what that is. Oh my gosh. He's getting a big head over this. <laughs> okay. All right. Go put those in your drawer. Are you back, Max? Max, come here. How you doing? You're just so curious to be in here, aren't you? Here, Max. Here. You can do it. Give her a high five. Max. Here. Look. Here. Good boy. Good boy. All right, so we're just about to go to a concert, but I wanted to show you all the laundry you got done. That's Ashley's and her bucket, Chelsea's and her bucket, Kaylee and Abby's. And I think I should teach my kids how to do laundry. So we are headed to Abby's concert. Um, I don't know. I don't know what she's singing tonight, so we'll see what is up for her concert.
All right, so we're we're uh, going to get ice cream on our way home from this concert. <laughs> and Jason had gone up to Abby after the concert. I was just seeing how she's doing. She's yeah. with a friend. I want to say good job. She did a good and job. And I went over to him and I was like, ah, oh, maybe she doesn't want to like have her dad hanging out with her. I you didn't know. Care. Anyway, but what did you just ask her? I asked if I was cramping her style or no. if I was killing her mojo. And, Ab- she and Abby, know <laughs> she, she, I'm dying. She has no idea what either of those mean. And then Chelsea said, Dad, what did you say? I just said, Dad, you can just say, was it embarrassing when, um, like, I came over to talk to you? Yeah. <laughs> well, that means you understood what I said. Chelsea doesn't I know. Well, I it's can okay. tell because, like, parents are parents. Anyway, say, say goodnight. Good night. Good night.